The difference between banking and shadow banking is kind of like the difference between medicine and supplements. To call yourself a bank or to call your pill medicine, you have to comply with a lot of regulations. However, you can simply decide to call your business a hedge fund or your pill a supplement, and all of a sudden, you have orders of magnitude less regulation to deal with. Shadow banking institutions like money market funds or hedge funds can do most of the things banks can do, but they don't advertise themselves as banks. So, they have to comply with considerably less regulation. Most people think only banks are big enough to bring down the entire financial system, but that's just plain wrong. In fact, all the way back in 1998, long-term capital management is a popular example of a shadow banking institution which had to be bailed out. Why? Simply because the authorities, as well as the other financial institutions, were worried that the fall of LTCM could bring down the financial system. Therefore, under the supervision of the Federal Reserve, 16 financial institutions had to save this hedge fund. Let's not make the mistake of only being worried about banks. Shadow banking can end up being just as, and perhaps even more, systemically dangerous.